Hi, I'm Dr. Rafi Israel. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I'm excited to introduce to you the Palm Scan VF2000 uh, Virtual Reality Visual Field Analyzer. As an ophthalmologist, I can tell you that a visual field analyzer is one of the most used devices in my office. And there is virtually numerous number of diagnoses that I use the device on and uh, most commonly for diagnosis of uh, glaucoma or ptosis or uh, <clears throat> neuro-ophthalmological diseases that uh, I encounter every day in my practice. What excites me about this virtual reality um, uh, uh, visual field analyzer is that in addition that it produces reports that are virtually the same as a big machine, it is um, portable, battery operated, and it can a access a lot of different patients that I was previously not able to ac access with my big machine. Most commonly, these patients are pediatric patients and uh, patients that are handicapped and are unable to come to the machine itself. So for pediatric patients, it's a great device. Uh, most of the kids already know how to use uh, virtual reality goggles. And if they don't, uh, they get used to it very fast. The device has a um, focusing mechanism built in. So you can focus plus, uh, from plus one diopter to minus six diopter. You can also set the focus on the uh, control module, and I'm going to go into that in a little depth in a second. And the patient will interact with the machine with a uh, um, Bluetooth uh, control that whenever they see the stimuli, they will be pressing the button over here. The controller uh, live will be feeding back the uh, test as it's being taken to the operator and when the test is finished it will produce a PDF report that will be immediately sent to the uh, clouds and will be sent to your account so the doctor can review the results immediately. This is good if you have uh, multiple lanes in your office and uh, um, tech can take it from one lane to another lane so you don't have to dedicate one whole room to a visual field analyzer. Also, uh, it makes it possible for the tech to actually take it to places that the patients couldn't come to you, such as nursing home or pediatric uh, situations where the um, kids aren't able to take the test with the big machines. Uh, I would like to take a second to actually show you how this device works. Okay, so. It's very easy to operate. First, you have to add a patient. I will add a test patient. It's going to ask me if I want to add an image. You can add the image of the patient to the database, but right now I'm going to say no. Okay, at this point, I will turn on my um, visual field analyzer. So when the green light comes on, it means that the controller is connected now to the goggle, the visual field analyzer uh, goggle. So all you have to do is start the test. There is no need to occlude one eye or another eye as the machine will automatically do this for the patient as they're doing the test. So you just select the patient that you have selected. You select the visual field you select the pattern, uh, the patterns are 10-2, 24-1, 24-2, So I usually like to do a 24-2. I like to do a threshold test and this will do a, a interactive th uh, fast threshold test. So at this point you press the start and the, mach the controller will not program the virtual reality goggle, the correct test pattern. Here's the test pattern. And now <coughs> I will attempt to take the test. And while I'm test taking the test, I want you to 
to pay attention to the controller and see what you see. So as I take the test, the operator should be able to see the location of the lights that are being stimulated and also the results and the amount of the stimuli. A normal test will take about three minutes to do a full threshold test. So here, I'm done. And the machine is asking the controller now has received the data and is asking uh, scan completed do you want to generate and save your report yes at this time a PDF report is being being generated and as soon as the PDF report is generated as I said it's uh, if you connect it to the internet it will be sent via the internet to your account and you'll be able to uh, see the report so here let's look at this report it took me two minutes and 51 seconds to do the threshold test um, we have the usual monitoring uh, parameters such as fixation loss which was 0 over 10 uh, false positive and false negative uh, fixation is monitored by the blind spot testing uh, the triangles indicate the uh, location of the blind spot that was tested okay and the numbers indicate the sensitivity at each given location there is a grayscale map and also then there is a uh, total deviation and pattern deviation uh, maps and uh, probability maps which are given down here also there is a GHT which is Goldman Hemifield test uh, which is done the reliability was high and the parameters that is given is MD which is main mean deviation PSD is pattern standard deviation LV, uh, loss variance, uh, mean sensitivity, mean difference, and vision loss, which was minus 0.1%, which is slightly better than normal. Uh, with this test, uh, we give the MD progression uh, given to you uh, immediately on each test. So if you have more than one test, you can immediately see if the, how the mean deviation progression was throughout the test uh, that was done before. So the statistical analysis is given on each report in effect to the uh, user. Okay. Uh, the reports are then uh, can be printed or can be saved uh, uh, directly to your uh, medical record itself. Basically, uh, this is how simple it is. Uh, the, uh, it comes with a carrying case and you can take it with you and it ha I do have a carrying case over here uh, the entire device fits in a small little carrying case like this and then you can transport it safely from a uh, location to location this is again Dr. Rafi Israel thank you very much